hello it's Guy here from GD Models today we'll be doing the uh, sorry just angling the camera the next stage um, I've done the first stage of the Zero Fighter here as you can see I've put a little panel on it and put the oxygen tanks on it but that is it and obviously this is the side um, all painted up what I've done here is I've sprayed it up with the blue and green mixture and obviously you've got the cockpit green here I've done my chipping and weathering technique and obviously put a wash on it as well so you've got the two halves there and a few other bits and pieces here also it's been quite a while since I've uploaded this video because if you see here this blue um, I think it's X13 I ran out of it so I had to that pushed me back by about six days because I had to order some um, and also so I just haven't been bored not doing models I've just been like smashing this little kit out here a little lovely kit from Airfix it's just a little cheap tiger moth um, I do a build review once I finish that I'm not going to do a build log because it's literally like five stages and then the whole aircraft is built so I'll do that build log uh, we'll kit review in the next couple of days uh, should be today or tomorrow um, because obviously I've nearly finished it also the reason I haven't been doing up build logs is uh, for the past couple of days is it's been so nice outside obviously I've been enjoying the hot weather right okay so without further ado we've done step one here which is obviously the little indicator and the uh, oxygen tanks um, also this uh, I forgot to even mention it at the beginning of the video completely forgot this is the first step of the Tamiya 1 to 32 scale uh, Mitsubishi Zero Fighter but yeah just completely just completely blanked my mind right so this one's quite technical actually um, let's move this part of the fuselage out of the way also for the people who've been following my Concorde build I'll be uploading the next video of that today um, I've finished the next steps so um, all, well the next spraying on that step so I'll, I'll upload that today as well um, so I think we'll be quite busy today right so the first thing we want to do is get like this little box here and somewhere yeah here we go there's a little spring right don't ask me what all this is about because I don't have a clue um, it says I need to put okay I see so that sits on there like that but it tells me that I've got to get this stuff here which is it comes with a kit it's uh, like this grease um, there we go it's open and then you've got the little lid to put on the top there right so what I've got to do is all fun and games um, apply grease to if it wants to come out uh, no it doesn't it's like non-existent ah there we go I was going to say non-existent grease then but there is some in there right it wants me to grease up this side here and this side here so I don't know why I'm greasing the model right now but we'll find out later on in the build I guess um, so this is going to be quite fiddly I guess um, you've got this little box here with this spring that goes in here 
this goes in that way round. Oh, this is horrible stuff. Um, pop the spring out for a sec. And push it in like that. Okay. So what you got here. I'll get my tweezers switch away. There we go. So what we've got is like a little spring in there and obviously it moves and you've got grease there so it's easy movement um, and now we want to get this slider here and this goes just making sure I do everything right here because it's meant to be obviously perfect here so you want to go that's on there isn't it that goes the slider goes in there like that so it clips on there nicely so it's like a little my camera's not paving itself as you can see it's like a little springy catch. Don't know what it's for, as I said, but it's a tiny little springy catch. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'd imagine that will get under a lot of uh, pressure. So I'm going to add a bit of super glue on long here and along here, because I can imagine, obviously, if this is a moving part. And there's a spring in there, it's most probably going to have a lot of tension on it. So, that's like a, as I said, that's like a clip unit. So, weird. Um, that's a new one. And now, this little built in unit, just move these out of the way. Don't need any more grease for this build, uh, this uh, stage. I'll move them all over there. And there's tiny little metal bit there right, I'll bring it over here now this um, let me see so that goes in there and that goes there so um, in there like that. Oh, it's a bit awkward, I'll tell you that now. That's it like that. So you've got, as I said, you've got this little spring mechanism here. Um, I'm going to run some Tamiya Extra Fin along now, I think. So you've got this mechanism in place. That's that. And now the next stage is you've got this. Where has it gone? There it is. This little shelf with a box on it, and that will go in there like that. So I just quickly run some. Now run some super glue on there actually, but I won't put it on that side. I put it on. The back of this so that's enough
there you go, like that, press it in. As I said, it's like a little shelf. Um, don't know what it's for, but we'll might we'll find out later. On. Um, now you've got this little, another little tank here, and this sits in here, and there's a bit here as well. Um, so there we go. Get some more super glue, my other stuff as well, that dried out. So, oh, that's a bit too much. So, put it there and there. And now. Just a little fiddly. But. There we go. So that's like that. Another little. Bit of equipment. This is also a lot. Less of a. a how can I put it. Um intense build as my last build which was a mosquito but it's obviously still in the same scale so you're pretty much working with the same detail really um, this one's obviously some of the plastic on this one's not as well made but I believe it's a lot of a lot more of an older kit so right so next stage here wants me to Sorry about that. Um, 16 is on this side. I've left these bits on here, on the sprue, because it's so similar. There's just little bits here, which I have to use a bit of paint to um, paint them in a sec. So you've got down here this uh, like empty space along here. And along here, and then this bit here needs to somehow there we go, like that. I think and he's oh, it's a little fiddly. I will go in there in a sec. Um, I need some tweezers, there we go. So I'm guessing... Like that. Just make sure. So this bit goes on there like that. And then obviously I'm going to quickly paint that. Um, got to do the same again on the other side as well. So just grab the other side back. Which is, these have only been painted black on the inside. Same super glue, it just sort of makes you just want to stick it down there again. Like that. 
that one went right on there on the first time which was cool so you've got that little bit there as well right so what we want to do is go back to this side I believe we're working on the aircraft here upside down by the way in this step right now what it tells me to do is just look in here concentrating there we go so we want this washer here this should sit down in the space in here no so I've clearly got the wrong washer there that's fine just move the tie from off there quickly because it's sitting on top of where my washers are now there we go so we've got this one is the correct size this one goes in there like that and now this is the really fiddly bit which I don't really understand right so we want to Put that in there and put that through there. Okay, so this is going to need super glue. So there's a tiny little hole located there, right? And then what you want is a little tiny metal rod. It's the smallest rod in the kit. And that little tiny rod sits there like that. I'm going to quickly use a, another clean cocktail stick to get rid of some of the um, excess glue. Like that. Got a tiny rod there. Now you use this uh, aluminium. Well, it's not actually aluminium. It's obviously sprayed aluminium. Um, little clip that sits like it goes this way round. Like that, and that should just sit on there. Like that. Doesn't say whether it's going to go over or under this little bit here, you know, the mechanism. So I'm going to do it. Okay, yes, it, I've just looked. It goes over the top of the mechanism like that, so that's correct. Um, and now what we want to do is get the two halves and glue them together so a tiny bit on the metal there and now we just want to spread the glue on all the surfaces that are going to be connected the other side Long here, and 
along here. I think that's it. So, what we want to do is grab the other side. And this should come together quite nicely. Right, so they have come together quite nicely as you can see. What I'm going to do now is get my Tamiya tape. I'm not going to get the fixed stuff because fixed stuff's pretty good for um, uh, when you're masking off. But the way I normally do fuselages is like this. So you just. That's why. Move that out of the way. So, you got just basically tape it up on all the weak joints. Hold it tight together. Down there like that. Down there. Maybe a little one on the top here. Like that. One at the rear of the aircraft. And some, another one at the rear, I reckon. Like that. And then underneath on the belly. One there. I'll do three more. One here, halfway down. And finally, another little bit. Just right at the back here. Like that. So they're sort of like quite tall. Now, what you want to do is get the Tamiya extra fin. This is what I do. Anyway, is then at this crack here, just be quite generous, and you can just watch the Tamiya extra fin just run down the seat. It normally do it at both ends. And it just literally meets up underneath to give it like almost a weld line. And then that's that. And then obviously on top here. Sorry, I keep coming off camera today. There. 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 And there. And one few more bits down here. Also I've just noticed I've got to quickly whack this bit on as well which is the main pan for here so what I'm going to do is just whack this on with a bit of extra fin put it on the sixth six hooks and that's it put, clip it in there we go, like that, and then, there we go, like that, and then I'll put a bit of tape on it to hold it down. Um, let's get to a piece of tape quick. Got the thicker stuff for this. One there, and one at the back here, and that's the build for today. Um, the first step of the Mitsubishi Zero Fighter, 
by Tamiya in 1 to 32 scale. Um, thank you for following this build. Always hit the like button if you can. Um, and to new people out, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, just give me a message down below and I'll be happy to answer any questions and queries. Thank you ever so much and have a great day and happy modelling. Goodbye for now.